So, hey everybody, this is Oz from Percept Days Now and we are at the Bosphorus Regional. We are with the legendary team 4613 Barker Redbacks. We are with Rory, Julian and Jack. We're going to be talking about their robot and how they do things. They are very fast with a bullet chases. They are scoring amazingly and all this will be on behind the bumpers. So Rory, let's hear about the, your chassis. Yeah, so our chassis is quite unique from other teams. We use a billet chassis design with 25 millimeter aluminium. So you'll see uh, in this, in this here, it's, it's actually just one piece uh, of 25 mil, and we machine it down to 1.5 uh, millimeters of weight saving. Uh, this chassis, in, like being in one piece, really helps our rigidity and strength. Uh, and it just means that we're a really reliable team when it comes to absorbing impacts and like taking really big hits against strong robots. So we extended the chassis of our robot uh, quite uh, quite close to when we were going to the regional, and this was because uh, we needed to we didn't have enough luggage space to take two sets of bumpers. So you'll see our uh, team eight six one three. We use the same bumpers. Uh, and that's just because we couldn't fit another set of bumpers and we extend the chassis and add some rollers to make sure that the intake can pick up from uh, multiple positions. Awesome. And can we hear about your intake? Our intake, it's over here. It's the load goes from underneath the bumper and we have all these sliders here so that when the load rolls along them, there's almost zero friction into them and we have two line brake sensors here, so that way we can track when the node is inside of our intake. And how did you decide on an under bumper intake? Uh, we decided it would probably be easier to roll over the node instead of having an extra, use extra time to have something flip out over, over our bumper. And we are seeing some bands chases with the under bumper choice. Did you have any issue, issues with Mentor your chassis? Uh, no, we didn't. So, what yeah, about your um, shooter? For the shooter, we designed it um, to be able to do both the and, yeah, and without the need for a pivot. Um, to do this, firstly, we had the two rollers on two separate motors. This means we can run them at different speeds, such that the note goes up into the amp. Um, another, change, another thing we did with the shooter, um, sorry. the wheels on the lower roller have a lower durometer than the high wheels. This means that when we shoot into the amp, the notes curve and they curve into the amp. Um, and that means we can do both speaker and amp without a pivot, which means um, the speaker is a lot more robust and reliable. So can you tell us about your climber? Yeah, so our climber is just a single hook which attaches to any part of the chain and we're able to climb quite confidently with another robot if we move our robot to the side. Uh, it's just powered by a single Falcon uh, which is geared 64 to 1. Uh, it's two stages and powered upwards by constant force springs and winched down uh, using some high strength cord. Uh, a lot of teams have asked us what this is for and uh, this is for, I'll show you. This is for, instead of the note getting stuck onto our climber, like you can imagine like this, uh, we, we added this so that if the note happens to fall back onto our robot, it, it can't fall onto the climber and disable us for the rest of the match. So, uh, yeah. Awesome but all around. Good luck for the season. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.